Oh my goodness. Such a beauty. Hey y'all. APG Jamie here. And we have our hashtag six pack collab guy chapter five. The embellishments and all that kind of decory stuff on this fabulous hashtag journal collaboration. Okay. It is uh, six of us. We each made a cover, then sent that to the next person in line. And we each made a signature then sent that to the next person in line. Then we each added tucks and pockets, then sent that to the next person in the line. Then we each added fillers to said pockets and tucks, and sent that on to the next person in line. And now we're to the embellishment stage, okay? Layered element, whatever, paper clips, charms, tabs, stamping, painting, stenciling, whatever we want to do. <laughs> so I decided I didn't want to change the beautiful papers too much because they are really nice signatures in this lovely cover. Y'all, pocket, oh, I don't think there's enough words to say how nice this one is. Just saying. Well, I think they're all nice. They're all so fun. So, we have this here stencil from Joggles. There is a list of ingredients in the description below, along with links to my fellow collaborators' channels and their um, Instagram linkage identification stuff is in there too y'all so i'm using uh there's uh a repeat of colors in here in sort of blues purples, and browns of course and so i'm trying to pull that in with uh the, some different colors of archival ink i have and i am using a makeup brush because i think they work the best for me guy in the stencils and these are pretty elaborate stencils um or this particular one it like i said is joggles i think it is um one of the um oh bless my heart clamp like inspired stencils don't quote me i don't know for sure y'all anyway loose list of ingredients below and I do this, that stenciling on several pages, not every one, because I kept telling myself, you don't have to put something on every page, okay? You don't have to. So we've done some stenciling, and some of my, or stenciling, we're doing some stamping, and some of the stamping I do bleeds through, which I thought was kind of odd, because not all of it did, even though I'm using the same general colors love the drag y'all know i love dragonflies anyway anywho the dudes um i have cut out uh, a lot of the repeat stuff i mean you saw me stenciling with the different colors and moving the stencil around i also use uh an eye stencils by joan smithy's uh stencil at some point i don't know if i got that part filmed or not and this is either tissue or deli. I really wasn't quite sure what paper that was. Very translucent, very lovely. And uh, just did some uh, various stampings around on front and back. We will add Dollar Tree butterflies at some point. I find they match up pretty good back to back. Okay. Although not 100%, but they do match up pretty good back to back. This paper, again, I'm not sure if it's tissue. I'm not sure what kind of paper. It could be rice paper. But it has lovely staining markings on it. And I thought I want to enhance some of that. So I decided I would do some heat embossing on it. And I used uh, 
an embossing pen. It's got the sticky ink in it. And we're using a gold and a uh, copper, bronze, I don't know what color embossing powder. And I'm mixing them because, you know, I do that. You do have to be careful. You don't want to put it back in your original containers. You want to faux another fake, or not a fake container. It's a real container that you will put your, your leftover bits in. If you happen to keep that kind of thing, which I do because... You know, you can get very interesting effects from mixed up, matched, matched up, crazy embossing powder. And I liked it so much. I did it on several pages. I don't know that I show you all the pages. I probably don't. Uh, that I did it on. Uh, it is all the same, same kind of paper. And uh, so, yeah, we do that. And we've got some die cuts. I had... Um, a squirrel an unbranded die uh, squirrel die cut so there's some little squirrels in here there's a uh, some stamped images oh this is a ribbon trim stuff from the Dollar Tree and uh, I decided to put it on a couple of the pages I tried to do similar things throughout the journal so that it, it, it all ends up hopefully being copacetic and working well together. Although some things are only used once, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And we're using Fabrifix to put this on. It is like a tuck spot, but it does not have to be used as a tuck spot. It can just be a pretty decor, okay? And so I'm just kind of gluing around the edges so that it's open in the middle look at those pretty pages oh and the pockets i did not pull everything out of the pockets to show you all the pockety stuff okay check out everybody's channels so that you can see all the different things going on y'all we have no set time or designation for for posting videos if we even post videos because not everybody can necessarily do a video all the time i've claimed second tuesday second tuesday third tuesday oh really i've just confused myself second tuesday i was correct the first time correct oh lucky me so anyway i had that faux um camera thingy there insta viewfinder whatever it's called i can't remember what's picture fi i don't know what it's called anyway i have one of those and because I, I pulled out some of my existing clusters and stuff because why not and i thought i love it i cut it in half i glued it back to back so now it's a tap and it's beautiful and i love it but i didn't like how it just ended wonkily on the page that's when I brought out my Dollar Tree butterflies. I thought, yes, there we go. So now the butterfly is like a belly band, sort of, okay? And I have this here um, pretty, you know, it's store-bought paper, y'all. Um, but it's kind of mottledly green. I don't know, some of that fancy printing paper you get from the, from the um, Walmart. You know, it's got different colors. Anyway. So we're going to do a little stamping on this one. I think this is the only little piece of paper that I stamped on. I don't, I don't think the other pa papers, the excess papers that I used, um, the scraps, I don't think I stamped on those for whatever reason. Because sometimes I do stuff and I don't, I don't necessarily know why I'm doing it that way. So anyway, I am using archival inks because it's my favorite. Because it's permanent and it don't move when it gets wet. Sometimes some of it will lift a little bit with certain uh, other mediums, but that's not its general rule. And I'm pretty sure I have uh, put gold thread on this particular uh, butterfly for the antenna. I like adding thread for the antenna, y'all. Looks so cool to me. Here's the squirrels. Uh, I only put two in the book. The extra squirrels with their little acorns. There's a pocket place in this journal right on the front cover. It's very handy. It's kind of deepish. And I thought, well, I'm just going to drop these little extra bits in there because they're little extra bits. 
I couldn't decide what page I wanted to put the other squirrels on, so I put them in the little extra bits. And whoever ends up with the journal can do whatever they want to with the extra bits. Or the next person down the line can do whatever they want to with the extra bits. Uh, like I said, I used some existing um, clusters and such. I may have changed and altered them a little bit to go with it. Uh, here I'm stamping on the acorns. These are so tiny, y'all. Um, just to, I don't know, make them look more acorny, I guess. I, I don't know. And um, loved how they the, the squirrels looked once I did the inking on them. They were a little plain before the end, but this, this added a little bit of dimension. Oh, and then we're going to add this other, because I'm like, well, yeah, it's kind of weird having this other tab here. It's just kind of weird. So I decided to um, die cut some wings. And I recently saw this uh, embossing technique where you just layer up your embossing stuff, you know, with clear and colors and all that stuff. And while it's hot and all melty, you just run a little tiny ball stylus through it and squish a little around. And I thought, well, let's just try that because that was fun. So that's what I did. And I do have the two wings and they will be back to back. You'll see because we'll get there eventually. Evidently, I'm showing you a lot more on this particular thing. It's just layered up clear embossing powder on black cardstock, and then I will bring some colors in. I don't do a whole ton, a whole overly tonnage of layers, okay? Because, you know, embossing powder, once it gets so thick, it can actually start cracking, right? Not necessarily a pretty thing, but you can always just heat it back up, and it will just remelt right back in place. It'd be just fine. Any hoots. Moving along. Trying to heat gun, y'all, the wing and not melt the powder on my page. My excess powder down there, y'all. Valuable stuff, just saying. So you can see I'm getting very hit and miss. I'm like, oh, I'm not being real precise with it because, you know, because I'm not. Precise is not necessarily my way. And we're going to add, do something else. What are we doing? I don't know. We're going to bring some colors in eventually. Honest. Honest we will. Just wait for it. Okay. Yeah. It is sped up. Everything is sped up in hyperspeed. Hyperdrive, hyperspeed. <sighs> Sticky embossing ink. Probably stamp abilities I've had in a long time, as you can tell. My clean pad is now black from, you know, all the colored ink that gets on there and transfers over because it's just the way it goes. All right, any day we will add color. <laughs> Hi, y'all. So much I could have cut out. And so little got cut out. I, oh, here we can dip that in there too. Ah, uh, here I said I don't think I overly did the layers, but evidently I might have. Not really. It's very cool though. And white wings might have been better, but you know hindsight. All right. It's just like just dipping it because you know it's well. It is summertime and it is hot. In the studio, so the air conditioner on, so the air was kind of cool. So it did kind of dry. Oh, well, it didn't. It's not wet, so it's never going to dry. It cools and sets. You melt the plastic, and then it cools and sets into a shiny surface. Okay, maybe now we're going to add some color. Could happen. That one just keeps curling up, y'all. Anyway, uh. I had it's a Biggs die that I used, so it has two different pairs of wings on it, and I cut them twice. So, and the extra wings went in that uh, set of aforementioned pocket place thing. So, we're gonna add some color now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, probably like I uh, I don't even care to see that part anymore. So I'm just using the little end of that uh, pokey tool to pull out some colors. 
again I'm trying to coordinate the colors somewhat you know a little bit sort of you know so yeah and I think a couple of these powders are allegedly um, metallic I, I, don't, I don't know didn't actually even write down the names of the colors because use what you got people then I have this one which is a silvery white it's not white it's not silver it's almost translucent I don't know what it is and then here's more of the clear powder because that's just clear right there in that little baggie <coughs> excuse me y'all all right now we're going to melt it from the bottom because remember it's pretty pretty dry powdery on top so we're melting from the bottom and you just do a little bit at a time <coughs> probably would have been better if I had just put some of the color on there and wiggled it around and then added some more you know all that kind of stuff but no I just want to put the whole thing on there here gun y'all some magical embossing powder and I didn't get you know I, did, I could have I guess worked out some kind of squishy squashy more feathery looking stuff but I just squishled it all around just playing I'm happy made me happy I think it looks good we know that's the important thing right <laughs> very happy with the journal mm -hmm. it's very nice they're all so lovely y'all it has been an honor to touch the work of these great artists in the group y'all really incredible people just saying so we're going to do the second one evidently i show you both wings because it must have been important at the time i was editing <laughs> y'all uh, they're the same but not quite alike that kind of thing that's that silvery not really white not really silver and that's the clear all right all right there's some on my paper not much and it went in the um, the extra embossing powder jar that I have what a mixed up one that's gonna be anyways squishle squishle if y'all try this you could just certainly take your time and you know get better marks probably and all that I'm just squishling around and the powder or the melted powder that sticks to you your ball stylus you can pull that off and that will remelt as well just saying there we go now they got to cool really well oh darn <laughs> gonna have to remelt that that was an accident but that's okay still 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 works okay like well we'll just pick that up and hold it over here and I don't know put some more clear on it <laughs> ah, that'll fix it right that'll fix it right up okay heat guns get hot y'all be careful they get hot I'm like well I guess we better throw some more on this one all right oh uh, y'all oh my goodness sometimes I just don't even know what goes on in my brain I just get in that zone and go to town wherever that town may be that's where I go okay fiddling with clothes in the bag now we're gonna heat it all up again we're almost through with this part really y'all Serially, pretty sure maybe <laughs> there isn't a photo montage it's somewhat extensive and I hope you stay for it all right if you have any particular questions feel free to ask them I will do my best to answer them now on those pretty printed pages I have a Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust pen, one of my favorites, y'all. 
it will reflect the color underneath it and makes it shimmery anyway I smooshed that around on not every page but on some of those pages so they have a little bit of fairy dust on them yeah that's the ticket so gluing our two wings back to back and now we have a tab tab pretty happy with it mm-hmm Mm -hmm. and for whatever reason I didn't feel like the wings looked weird coming off the page like I did that photo circle thing oh flip flop time y'all so I added a little star charm on uh, the existing charm that was on the cover see there's the little pocket it's just, it's just add that in there and I'm going to flip through I'm pretty sure pretty near every page and like I said, there's some stamping, some stenciling. I didn't do any painting, but we have heat embossing, die cuts, um, some existing clusters that are glued on. I think there's a couple of paper clips. Um, I really love how that heat embossing came out on those particular uh, stained papers. Uh, so each each side of that page has belly band from a butterfly. I don't think they're the same butterfly, but they are the same colorations. Anywho, the boots. Hopefully, I'm hoping you can kind of see some of the shimmer from the uh, Stardust pen. Uh, that particular page, I added some purple um, stickers. I added a fairy on the outside of that pocket and <clears throat> excuse me just some very oh that's an image i stamped on deli paper and then glued or, or collaged it in and here's one of those pages and this is the back side which is the same um i thought it was an interesting texture y'all and some of the stamping you can't see because it's kind of... I, I had a crane bird that was perfect match, so I stamped that on there, too. You can't hardly tell. You wouldn't even know it was not supposed to be that way. So I guess that's good work. And is that a... Yeah, that's a glued on cluster. Um, let's see. Beautiful papers. There's some more of that and heat embossing on that. This is a pa oh, that's just a piece of paper that was laying on my desk, and I thought, well, that looks good, so I folded it up and stuck it underneath the paper clip. Guy, guy, that was an existing cluster that I put a paper clip on. Guy, and I added uh, the stars, and that's a paper clip. They're hidden paper clips, so you know they can flip flop whichever way. I thought it was interesting. <laughs> There's our little wing tab. Uh, these acetate pieces. And I think I glued a couple of those on. I used um, diamond glaze because it allegedly works really, really well with the plastic. And that's just a text pod. I believe he is a glued on cluster. And just a butterfly on there. And then a little cluster on the back. It's got a paper doll. <laughs> you know, I love them. More embossing on that paper. We're almost to the end, I think. I'm going to try to show you the shimmery. It, the camera, it's very hard to pick up the camera on the camera, y'all. So, uh huh. Another one of those. And that is a slip-on pocket. It's very cool. And more stenciling. And this is our Maker's Notes Cards tags. And I did one of those. So we're going to call Chapter 5. Ta-da! 
Uh, y'all what fun love the stenciling now the stenciling came out like i said i kept telling myself you don't have to do something on every page because some people like to journal in a journal so people like to add their own stuff in a journal so Beautiful cover, beautiful pages, fun pockets and tucks, y'all. Just saying. These ladies are amazing. Really love how that came out. I may need to make some more of those viewfinders or whatever that wheel thing is. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I'm sure the die has, has a name. Anyway. See, they're little cranes. You can kind of see them. Tried to keep it fairy-ish, earthy. I oh, love that cluster, y'all. That was a postage stamp. It came on an envelope from someone. I thought it was gorgeous. So, yeah. That's just different kinds of ribbons. It's a ribbon. And, the, of course, paper clips can be removed. I mean, you know, it have been there forever. I love that little guy, y'all. I love him. <sighs> Dollar Tree Butterfly that I added thread in ten eye. Mm -hmm. Another little fun cluster. I know, I have to tell you, you can see it. Sort of see... The glistening uh, wing stuff, y'all. Okay? Okay. Be sure to check out the fellow artists. Thanks for watching. And happy artin', y'all. Six-pack collab.